Alright, hello everyone. So welcome to my new video tutorial. This video will be uh, on the auto bots. So like uh, your scrim bot will start a match every 30 minutes automatically. And you only have to start it off once. Um, to be able to follow the tutorial you would need to have your scrim bots completed from my video series and also the countdown bot. So those both of those uh, videos will be in the description. So you need to follow that before. Alright, so let's get started. First things first, we're just going to open our start file. So you should have like a command folder here and you should have a start.js. If you don't have some of these files here, just ignore some stuff I've been doing randomly. Alright, so in the start, we're just going to upgrade a few things for uh, this bot. So the first thing we will do is that um, scroll down. So you should see your uh, message collector, probably around line 76. We're just going to remove the max. Alright, so we don't need to max it out at 200. We can just take how many entries we want, and let's just save that. Also, at the very top, we're going here to add a constant called owner, which is going to require our point slash point point slash uh, settings dot json. Okay. Oops, sorry. Change the owner to settings, and then we're going to make a variable called owner. Uh, sorry, constant called owner that will equal to settings.owner and now scroll all the way down to your message collector again and here if validation we're going to change this line to or if the message.member.id is equal to owner alright so you won't get that issue anymore when you're like uh, you don't have the allowed roles but you're still the dot owner now you'll be able to use it and now if content uh, triple equals start, that's in the beginning of the message collector. I'm just going to add one more thing. Or if the m.content is triple equal to stop. Alright, so we're going to make a stop command. So you can, uh, you can use that to stop uh, when it's counting automatically. And to have this stop command, we're just going to scroll down now to our message.collector end. And we're going to create an uh, end message here. So we're just pretty much going to say that we stopped receiving codes. So let's say uh, let we're gonna put end message equals discord dot oh shit um new discord dot rich rich embed. And here we're just going to pretty much put a set of title, which is going to say uh, no more codes accepted at this point and then we're just gonna put like a description like good luck and have fun in your match and then let's uh, set a color and let's put the color red because it's more like a like a warning message kind of deal like yo you can't do anything anymore so let's I'm going to put a red. And now we're just going to send this message. So, uh, message.channel.send. And we're sending an embedded object. So, we're just going to type like that and message. Okay, so, now we have an end message. I'm going to save that. Make sure you save. A lot of you guys have issues because you don't save your files. So, we have a stop command. If we write the stop, it will send us to our end here and it will display this message. Alright, also I know some of you guys want to uh, know how to lock chats and stuff, so I'm going to show you a quick version. It's kind of like what Diesel wrote in the in my Discord server, like the support server. Link's going to be in the description, but I'll write a little example like that here as well. I'm going to scroll down to, I'm going to actually scroll up here. So this is where I send the, the last three message code, which is where people are allowed to write codes afterwards. I send it right here. So in the same box, I'm, it's here I'm going to allow people to start typing. So I'm just going to go message message dot channel dot um, over overwrite you like that oh sorry so overwrite permissions and then here I'm going to just get the basic like the everyone rule so it's message dot guild dot default dot default role and so if you have like a specific role you just you put the role ID here but instead uh, I'm just gonna do it for the everyone role 
and then after that you just open a curly bracket and you oh shit this is kind of blocking so yeah you just open a curly bracket and you put the, the send underscore messages uh, permission and you just put it to false oh sorry put it to true and then at the end here we're just going to catch if ever we do a if it doesn't work we're just going to catch it and it's going to be an error and we're just going to send it to console.log error alright simple as that now um, so here we're allowing people to uh, write so as soon as we send the last three message we allow them now just copy this whole thing and then we're gonna go at the end here so collector on end collected after we show that we don't accept codes anymore we're just gonna paste it underneath here and we're just gonna put put false so now we block people from writing and then save that so now you have the block chat okay so that's pretty much everything for the the customization on the start file now we can make the auto file so just here in your command folder I'm just gonna right click add a new file I'm gonna call it odd since I have multiple bots that have the same prefix, I'm just going to call it auto C. Actually, no, I'm going to make auto start. Alright, .js. You can write it whatever you want. I'm just going to put auto start because if I write auto, it's going to start another bot as well and it's going to make it more um, te more uh, distracting when you test it because it'll make a few things pop out uselessly. So I'm just going to make that. And then um, for this, I'm simply just going to. Uh, uh, I'm going to uh, get the discord package because we're going to write indeb so we're going to require the discord.js and then we're also going to need our file system so I'm going to put a constant file share and then I'm going to require dfs now we're just going to do the classic uh, titles for every song where, uh, every files where we module.exports.run which is a sync This is something you've seen multiple times, I don't think I really have to explain this. Make sure this line right here is the same thing as your uh, as your file name. This is how it gets written. Uh, read, I mean. Alright, so now we're going to save this, so I'm going to double check, make sure it's a little... I'm porting Discord, file system. Uh, module is where that run, but the message are later function. Okay, everything's good. Alright, so we're gonna need a few things here. So we're gonna need our uh, our uh, general chat, our voice chat, and our codes chat. So as an example, I'm just gonna open Discord. I think my connection crashed. Fuck. Alright, so when you open up a Discord. You're gonna have usually when you auto bot, so you're gonna have something called like a lounge or like a general chat where people uh, talk. You're gonna have somewhere where you put your last three codes, like where people write codes, and you're also gonna have your countdown channel for where people uh, do counts. So if you open your uh, your auto start again, so we're gonna have a channel called voice, and here we're just gonna I'm gonna leave it empty for now. You'll see in a second. So we're gonna have a channel called codes, and also a channel called general. Alright, and now just open your Discord again. Make sure you're in dev developer mode. So, uh, oops, not server settings. Um, user settings, appearance, scroll down, advanced mode. Make sure that's checked. Alright, so um, we're going to start with our uh, lounge, I guess. I oh, know, I do countdown first. Right click on it, copy ID, open your code editor, go in voice, and paste it. Let's do the same thing for. Last three, copy ID, paste, and uh, lounge, copy ID, paste. Alright, so we got general voice and um, our codes. So we're just going to console.log. Activating auto command. Just to, just to tell us that we're gonna start the command now. So um, first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna write an intro, which is gonna be a new Discord dot uh, rich embed, 
and just simply just going to tell people that all of our scrims are going to start at a specific time. So we're going to set a title, and I'm just going to say scrims uh, will start every xx00 and xx30. So simply this means that every 30 minutes the game will start. It doesn't care what hour it is. If it's at like 5 o'clock, it starts, and if it's 5.30, it starts, etc. And don't don't put that curly br uh, the semicolons I just put there. That's an accident. And we're just gonna set the color. I'm gonna put something green, I guess, because it it's more catches your eyes. So um, all right. And now we're gonna send this ch this uh, message to our our general channel. So to be able to send message to direct channels, we're gonna go bot at guilds, and then we're going to get the the message at guild the ID and then all of these channels so we're gonna get all the channels and then the specific one we want is the general and then we're going to send an embed object called intro then we're just going to catch if something goes wrong put error and then we're just gonna console dot log the error alright so I'm going to go over this again. Bot, we check all the guilds the bots are on. We get the specific one we're currently in. We get all the channels from that guild. We get the specific channel we want. And then we send an embedded message, which is called intro. And we catch an error. Be careful for all the parentheses and curly brackets. You have to be perfectly like that because we're going to copy and paste this thing multiple times just to save time. All right, so now we're going to start our thing called the... Uh, an interval. So we're going to call it auto scrims and this is going to be a set interval command and then in here we just write nothing except an empty function. And we're going to have a couple of variables here. So we're going to have the time which can be equal to a new date. Date's an object that gives you the current time. We're going to have uh, minutes which will be uh, time dot get minutes. And we're also going to get a new embed message. I'm just going to call it embed. It's equal to a new uh, discord.rich. Alright, so we're just going to get a discord.rich uh, embed. And uh, I'm just going to leave it. Do I leave it empty, I think? Uh, yeah, so I'm just going to leave it empty. But I'm going to put a color into it. I'm going to put the same green we did. So 00cc00. Uh, zero 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 zero. If you want to look at colors, just go uh, Google uh, HTML color picker, and it will give you a lot of color options with uh, the uh, hexadecimal, uh, hexadecimal code. All right, so now we created a new embed with just nothing, just the color. Now we're going to check. So since this thing right here is going to run every minute, right? So down here I put a comma, and I want to run every 60,000 milliseconds because... 1,000 milliseconds is one second, so we want to go for 60 seconds. So that's how we're going to do it. Make sure you write that like that. And then we're just going to check here. So if um, our minute is equal to 55 or if our minute is equal to 25, we're going to give a five minutes warning to people. So we're going to take our embed and we're going to set the title. And the title will be next match starts in five minutes. Uh, yep, yeah, so we just, and then we're going to send that. So to be able to send something to a specific channel, once again, we just, let's just copy this line right here, all right, copy the whole thing, paste it underneath. We need to change the, the name of the embed file. So here we got, we're pa sending intro, now we're sending embed. So it's going to be like embed embed. So, yeah. And then, that's all we need. So now we're going to write another one. So if it's not that, then we're going to check. Are our minutes equal to 57? Or minutes are equal to 27? We're going to give a three minute warning here. So copy this whole thing. Just paste it. Change the 5 to 3. And then everything else is fine. Copy the whole elfis this time. Paste it. Change that to 59 and 29. Scroll down, 
here change that to one minute everything else is fine we're going to paste it one last time we're going to put zero zero and 30 here we're going to put match start match next match starts now comma make sure you're in the voice countdown channel um I'm gonna capitalize all this. So mix match starts now. Okay, so we got this, and then we're gonna send that message, so that's fine. And after we send that message, we're gonna send commands, right? So we're just going to um um yeah, we're just gonna use the same exact uh line right here. We're gonna tape it, take it, copy it change general and we're going to write the codes right and here remove the embed files and we're going to send count okay now copy this thing underneath it we're going to send exclamation point start so this is the prefix so if you changed mine to something else you you'll need to change that here so right now what we're doing we're we're uh, going to use the bot as the person to activate the commands. So here we you might have uh, something blocking you from doing this. Go in your index file, scroll all the way down, and over here you might have something that will say like something like this. I don't remember if I removed it already. So if the message dot author dot bot and then return, let's remove that. Let the bot write commands. Okay, just allow the bot. So, um, also, if you're gonna use the um, the bot for commands, we have something called add roles that we had with a roles.json file. Here, you're going to need to make sure the the bot has the role that you already included or one of the roles you included. So, like, uh, let's say I'm in this channel here. I'm gonna use the which bot? Oh, the bot's not online yet. So I'll show you that in a second. Let's keep going, and I'll show you after. Alright, so back into our auto command now. Here we're gonna want to uh, uh, we're gonna want to put a auto stop command. 